welcome to this week's video. So it is 6.30, 6.40 in the morning. And I usually do not get up this early. Apparently, I only get up this early for men named Sam. Because, guess what we're doing today? That's right, we're meeting these adorable humans. Um, my sister and I will be attending the Supernatural Convention here in Toronto today through the 31st. Um, I will be trying to vlog as much as I can from it um, and sharing that with you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you'd like to, you can check out the vlog from when uh, my sister and I met the other Sam, <laughs> Sam Hewen from Outlander. So my sister, if you do not know, is Julia LeBlanc O'Shea of the fantastic um, Outlander videos here on YouTube. Um, and so she and I and um, her little girl uh, my niece will be attending the Supernatural Convention this weekend, and um, I will try and vlog uh, as much as I can from that as soon as I get some caffeine inside of my body! So, hopefully you enjoy this video. Talk to you soon. Going inside! Is everybody excited? Yep, yep. Are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. Here we are. People are lining up to register. Are you a Sam girl or a Dean girl? Dean. What? Dean. Ah, okay. And you, madam? Uh, are you a Sam girl or a Dean girl? It I'm probably Sam. Probably? Sam. Sam. Who are you? And Cass. I'm a Dean girl, but I would not kick either one of them out of bed for eating cookies. There you go. <laughs> We're in the merch room. Our seats. We are going to be like this close for the concert. We're so close. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Welcome.
one of the nicest, most fun guys on the circuit, who's also a local fella. A local fella, indeed. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not gonna let you get away with it that easily. Uh oh. Okay, you've been talking about drama. <laughs> Toronto. Yeah, I know, I said it wrong, I know. Okay. Okay. This is where we are. Tobacco. How do you say it? Tobacco. Let them try it. Okay. I think this is easy. This is easy. Everybody look at me. Okay. Ready? How is it? Eat Toby Coke. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine, try it. A Toby Coke. <laughs> Jason, your turn. Very up for playing the scene 
rather than who they think they are. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes actors bring too much of their own ego to a, a, a show. And I, I'm happy to say that in those two shows, you know, the actors are really 100% available and uh, really great to work with. So does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. All right. I'm going over here. So I really hope, I have so much love and gratitude for Toronto for starting my career. So I used to do live stand and sketch at a place called The Ridley, which is, if you haven't seen the Kids in the Hall documentary on Amazon, no, no, no skin in this game. But there was such a cool energy after the kids got their series. By the way, if you have any questions, I'm alone. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Two elephants in the room here, first of all. Are we missing our boy Adam Fergus? Yeah. Uh, I'm me doing a solo panel. It's like I'm doing it legless or armless or like half naked. It's weird. It's weird. And well, well, as you know, if I was doing a panel with Adam, I would be half naked by the end of the panel. Yeah. If you've seen our panels before, things get weird. 
Um, so can I ask you to do a little video for Adam that I can send to him in Ireland? Is that something you can do? Like, I'll just do one, two, three, count and you go, we miss you, Adam, or something like that? Yes. That's what we miss you, Adam. Okay, one sec. Yeah, because this will be nice. <laughs> and also, it'll kill some time. <laughs>
Isn't that interesting? They're letting women be divorced at Hallmark, but the man always has to be a widower. <laughs> Isn't that wild? It's like, yeah, okay. I just, I just think, you know, everyone's got a story. Let's just all be human beings. We're just looking for love. You know, you know, thank you, Sue. But thank you for your question. So I love all my jobs. Every job is a good job, and I just approach them kind of differently. And it's, and it's fantastic. But I will say, I've known David for a lot of years. I've, we've been in 10 situations on set. We've traveled together. I've never seen him almost punch a man until today. And that man was Billy Brand. And you go, damn well what I'm talking about. Because Billy, but this is how the exchange went. I'm, I'm just sitting there, and Billy looks up at, at David, and he goes, wow. You really, really look a lot like Smokey the Bear. <laughs> and David took a beat, which in that beat he was what he what he wanted to do was punch Billy in the face. <laughs> out of his own out of his own sense of patriotism, he literally looked at him, he looked at him. He said, "Or a Mountie." <laughs> and the, the, the parenthetical was, "You dumb American fuck." And then he was, <laughs> My favorite moment of the weekend. I can't believe it was top It was, it was magic. Because David handled it so feeling like, hey, put on the cartoon character he <laughs> it, was, it was something. It was great. And look, and then they still get along. They're laughing, we're sharing a time. Hugging. Oh, ah! Look at that. A guitar player and a bear hugging. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a nice day in Christ.
where it's going to start to wear off <laughs> or not. So we'll find out how that all goes, okay? Um, I, d d does anybody have any questions? Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Because I will yammer on, but I recognize this is your time. Ish. <laughs> Sheriff Donna, when I was cast as Sheriff Donna, was a teeny tiny little actor. She wasn't meant to come back, wasn't meant to be a bigger role at all. Um, and I was just like, oh my god, they're going to bring me back? I met as a television actor that had never happened to me before. I'd never occurred on any TV show. And um, I remember Brad Creaser, who was the camera I like, just as actor trying to get a paycheck, right? Um, and so when we shot Heavy 911, it was exactly what Phil had described. It was like these two sheriffs meeting. But it was the perfect, at that time, the heat had just come out with Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy. And it was that perfect kind of buddy-buddy um, ideology. And I had known about Kim via social media. And I just really was like very excited to get to know her. And she was less excited, as she said many times in panels, uh, to meet me because she was worried that I was going to be like take over or everybody's going to like me more. That's she would I can say that she's admittedly said that many times, but we ended up being great friends, and that was, episode was so fun to shoot for me. And then my third favorite would be Breakdown, which was a, such was a more serious episode, and as someone who's like. I, I, I have a degree in acting. I went to theater school, and so I'm like, I actually get to act in this episode. Um, and it was beautifully written by David Perez, who put a lot of, um, uh, he just put a lot of trust in me in that episode. I had also done some stunt training for the, for the spinoff, and so I got to do some of my stunt stuff. And um, it was just a really important, kind of scary episode. It was one of the only, apparently, it was the second episode ever where the monsters were human. I know. Um, so those three all have special places in my heart. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Miss you. Miss you. Congratulations. Good luck with Rich. Good luck with Rich. You'll need it. <laughs> Hi, pretty. I love you. I miss you. I'm so proud of you. So everybody wanted to say hi. 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 We're so proud of you. You're missed deeply, and I hope you're having the best time. We love you. I hate you. <laughs> I texted her right now, so that she should respond. That was cute, guys. I look really cute. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'll leave that there. Was that it?
Oh, man.